Thousand Corpses was the first movie I ever did, so that was kind of just a crazy clusterfuck of whatever. You seen this girl? Yeah, they want to play Nancy Drew with this local legend that people call Dr. Satan. Stupid kids probably got themselves lost. Your first anything is a learning experience. And then, you know, at the time, it never became what I wanted to become. Devil's Rejects by that point, I, you know, I had learned a lot on the first film, so that movie was more of what I wanted it to be. And with each movie, you just, you can't help but just learn more and more and more how to achieve what, the whole goal is you have something in your mind, trying to get it on film. And I think Lord of Salem probably is uh, more sophisticated in the way that it's shot than the other movies. The other movies I would shoot handheld and more rough, because I, I really like how those type of movies look, but this one's a more composed, controlled, sort of cinematic film. Sometimes, I mean, I really like movies that are very natural. And I was watching, I mean, this may not seem like a very natural type of movie, but I was watching Close Encounters the other night. And just the scenes in the family with Roy Neary and his family and Terry Garr and the kids in the background screaming, and just the naturalness of that setting is what I love in movies, where it doesn't feel like this sort of scripted, put together thing. It feels like just real. That, those, that's what I always want to try to achieve, because that's what I love in movies. Roy, what is all this stuff on my table? I thought I told you this was for my stuff, this table. I mean, you can have that table. Oh, I don't want this stuff on my breakfast table. This can cause tetanus. Now everything's so polished that I don't, I don't think everything should be so... The, the goal to make everything so perfect, I find boring. Okay. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong, Roy. All right? Tell me! You are close to death! Come out of here! Movies was always my passion growing up as a kid, but and music, but, I mean, maybe it's easier now because of the way camera equipment is, but, you know, growing up, it's like to make a movie was much more difficult than to say, hey, let's start a band and stuff. So, you know, one took precedent over the other, but as, as the, the band and the music went on in time, especially when it became time to make music videos and stuff, I would always direct those, and the music videos became a good training ground for features, to a point. I mean, you know, it's a, very, it's a very different set of skills, but there is some aspect to it. And that really led to you know, making films. And I never try anything. I just do it. Okay, I'm gonna try me. I mean, with every project that I've ever done, every movie, every everything, you know, you never feel like you get it right. So you're always in the quest to do it better the next time you do, you know, you, you know I, I guess if you felt that you got it right, you would quit. So you're always on the quest to, to dig it to the next level, and that's really the way I always look at it.